So let's see. Let's see what I get. <laughs> Funny how I get forgiving and learning. And this is where we also have to understand like we've been through something, but we also have to give other people a, their space to learn. So um, I just feel a little ego coming from that. And so this is about just also forgiving. Even if someone didn't understand us, this is, it's no longer our job to to have people, you know, to always teach people. We only te we only help those who want to receive and people have to be willing and on a receiving end as well of the information. So let's get this energy here for you. Want more for Aries in love. So about you, so much about you, Aries. Look, religious factor and codependency, and you deserve love. So the, a lot of you have changed this. I feel, okay, so maybe that fiery energy for a lot of you is fighting away a lot of these codependents. And in that case, yes, rightfully so, rightfully so. Um, I'm also hearing that these are sometimes people who took advantage and I think you're also vocalizing that. So trust the process. I feel what this religious pro um, factor is our spiritual path. Trust what's, what he, what that healing is for you. And it, if it empowers you, beautiful. Um, but do also know, like I said earlier, not everyone's going to be receptive. And so sometimes this is where we're not here to convince them against their own opinion and continue to like vocalize how they made us feel. It's like, let it go. You know what you deserve. You know your priorities and you know what you're doing. Again, to me, I feel like this is about everybody in your life, friends, family, um, exes, boyfriends, girlfriends. It doesn't matter. There's something deeper that's happening for you. And I feel like this is an um, this is just something you're committing for you. So this is about you and your change and, and your version of loving yourself, Aries. So spirit would more for this energy for Aries. I mean, this screams everything I just said. Heartache and loss, your death energy, that's that religious factor, your transformation, your solitude, you know, that Queen of Swords energy I'm feeling where, you know, you spend your time learning about you, soul searching and positive movement forward. And nothing is going to stop that because you're you're going that way. You're going whatever way you're going, but you're, it's moving forward. It's not looking back. So beautiful energy here. Aries, I love it. Came on this heartache and loss. Obviously, it's going to be a very easy read for me. Yeah, three of swords again and queen of cups. And this is about preserving your emotions, taking care of you. This is also the healing, you know, this tower, something that really changed everything. Look at this. Wow, beautiful. Tower, wheel of fortune in the world. Something that really changed. It, it, it was a lesson that really changed the trajectory of your life for this spiritual path um for some of you it doesn't you know we don't need to call it spiritual path but it's an epiphany it's a it's a realization that like ish needs to change right and my life is going to change and i'm taking these taking charge and i'm investing my time differently and i'm not tolerating those who take advantage of me or me feeling guilty of taking care of anyone so give me more on this death energy we've got two of swords give me more on this death energy and the chariot yeah determined determined to move forward eight of wands determined to move forward not be blindsided from the past anymore or allow anyone to kind of fool you i think even if let's say the blinds are I feel like you could already see through the blindfolds as well. So it's almost like you're seeing the, the ish, like I said, all the seven of swords energy around your surrounding your people. You know, there's there is definitely an understanding. I think you are just 
conquering that and I think there's a level of you being vocal so this is where the fiery comes in I feel with the eight of wands because it's fire energy we've got yeah, five of wands seven of pentacles and eight of swords and I feel like again eight of swords is self-inflicted um some of you with the seven of pentacles may may have waited for this day to come for you to be like all oh, with your five of wands energy and be like yeah, this is this is this, this is what i told you um and and let it be you know if you if you go there aries let it be um because you're just planning yourself differently but also take a step back <laughs> take a step back and really continue to commit to what you're you're changing in your life with the seven of pentacles because I, I feel like everything's changing this foundation of yours is not going to include all of this tough energy that we had yeah you're manifesting something so much more different with the magician we've got the um emperor here where you're taking back your power the two can like taking full control here emperor and magician together it's like now this is and that's your energy right your your emperor energy aries so you're very much owning it so get on this hermit and i feel like with this hermit it's like i don't care even if i have to be alone even if i have to sit here by myself i'm gonna do just that and i feel there's a comfort with this hermit energy um knight of pentacles get more on this hermit yeah you're taking your time you're not in no rush you're not in no rush for a relationship. You're not in no rush. <laughs> Talk about it. You're not Knight of Pentacles, Four of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. You're not in no rush for a relationship. You're about the self-love process right now. But also, you're going to take your time when it comes to a new love. So even if this new person comes in, you got to feel a full completion of this Ace of Cups for yourself before they're, you're going to allow them in. Like, you're going to really take your time. And I'm feeling that strongly for you here, Aries. Give me more of this positive movement forward. Beautiful, Aries. Look at this commitment. Oh, I love you, Aries. Ten of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Why? Because you've received this emotional stability. You've got the death card here. That's this. You've planted. So this is what the effects of the seven of pentacles of how you invest your time no more in this bs the death represents how you're just putting that to end and now you're feeling a lot more it's finding this emotional mastery or balance within ourselves to put our emotions and our stability elsewhere in our energy and and codependency freeing ourselves from that putting an end to that allows more emotional freedom in the sense of that we get more energy back and that's how you make this progress that that's here for you with the ten of pentacles it's obviously going to be something so, so much more worthwhile and this change is something you wanted you need and you're i feel very committed to so amazing aries let's see what the blockages are what could possibly be your blockages beliefs yep your beliefs are keeping you stuck and that comes with the death energy. So this three of swords, again, I feel a level of guilt sometimes. Um, and that's a process that doesn't go away overnight. Because again, Aries, even though you're the sign that cuts everybody off. But when it comes to the people you love, especially your family, the people you love, the people you are loyal to, you will have some stuck energy here. Um, you give too much of yourself and that also will keep you stuck as well. I dated an Aries for 11 years and, you know, he had a very toxic mother and the level of belief that, that he had to, that she would just really manipulate it. It was so strong. Um, we could never progress. And obviously the, the relationship came to an end. But it's this loyalty, loyalty that he had. And of course, who's going to fight against mom? You know, you're never going to win over a mom. Um, so it's one of those things. Well, okay, if, if these beliefs are strong, then there are consequences to how your life will be. And I think 
you know, codependency in his situation was like that. But what it's just, I'm giving this as an example where we have to free ourselves. And sometimes there is a, a certain belief system that also creates codependency, which can also be, you know, in his case, um, rescuing mom all the time, you know, rescuing mom, rescuing mom. Um, but we have to see, you guys know where you fit in, in the sense of how we contribute to it as well. And we have to also see how we're contributing contributors of it but this death energy shows me that yeah you're like a mm, 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 not in my house kind of energy right so let's see what your guidance is Aries. this is about prioritizing you and what you deserve so we have surrender yep the situation asks you to surrender to the divine plan let go of control and watch your life return to a peaceful state that's what we want we want peace, Aries. That's what we want. Forgiveness. The time has come to forgive others and finally forgive yourself. We are all human and we are all make mistakes. Being able to forgive will lead you to unconditional love, love, compassion, ultimate. That's an energy that I'm feeling, guys, that you kind of have to like forgive and understand that people learn at their own pace. And I think that's what's going to free you as well, right? We're not, we can't sit here and try to convince them of how they hurt us or how they they don't care or a lot of times people don't care and so you save yourself that energy and grounding you are low on energy right now because you're ungrounded ground yourself with the earth and connect again with your body and practical reality this will bring you success and i feel like this is just a matter of just keeping yourself grounded not engaging too much in this five of wands energy like that fiery energy where you're like getting into maybe conversations heated conversations altercations um you know that will disturb your peace because this is about you returning to a peaceful state and that's the goal here emotional peace just so you could keep moving forward and that's that so love yep you are worthy of love and it will find you give the love you would like to receive thank you for it and this is what i'm saying this code like we have to come back to ourselves codependency sometimes we neglect ourselves which is what causes burnout um and burnout is serious and i i, I say this because i suffered it too um and this is about loving yourself now this is about you nurturing you taking care of your emotions your home your car, you know, getting your hair done, getting your hair cut, spraying some cologne, whatever it does to kind of zen you and ground you and really make you feel at peace already with your soul. Your soul needs peace. So my love, I love you, Aries. Please like, share, subscribe.